people across the border now to the kingdom of Eswatini. There's been a public outcry over allegations of police brutality there. It follows the death of law student Tabani Nkomonyani, uh, Nkomonye rather. His body was found on Thursday with broken ribs and cracked skull. His car was also allegedly shot at. Police say uh, Nkomonye was involved in a car accident, but many say this is a police cover-up. For details on this, we are joined by Zweli Lamini, the editor of Swaziland News. He joins us from an undisclosed location due to safety concerns. Uh, Zweli, thank you very much for your time and for putting um, your life at risk like this just to speak to us. I have written the article that was, ri that was written about Tabani Nkomonye, but could you just tell Tell me about the story and what happened to him. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Tabani Nkomonye uh, went missing on Saturday uh, last week on the 8th of May 2021. Uh, actually, he was uh, uh, shot and killed by the police in Bati. Uh, later transpired that the police were chasing him. Uh, at the moment, we don't know why the police did this to Tabani. And then on Tuesday, uh, his family uh, reported uh, him missing at the Manzini police station. Uh, at the time when they reported this uh, to the police station, uh, Tabani's car was uh, uh, hidden at uh, Matsapa police station. It was towed on the same night uh, and hidden at the uh, Matsapa police station. So uh, what actually happened here is that the police subsequently uh, uh, declared uh, Tabani as a missing person when, in fact, uh, his car uh, was hidden at a uh, Matsapa police station. That's where the whole suspicion about uh, his death uh, uh, emerged. Uh, mm. uh, Mr. Lamini, we've seen the outrage on social media about the recent case, but there's report that these allegations of police brutality and abuse of power is not new. One example was an incident that I believe happened last December. Yes, uh, there are series of events uh, that happened uh, in, in December last, uh, last year. Uh, not to mention the recent one where a Kumbi a conductor was assaulted by the police and instructed, uh, and, like, uh, in, assaulted and uh, insulted with his uh, uh, mother's private parts. In last December, uh, two minor children went missing at a place called Nyanyali Busaleni. And when the resident demanded that the police must action uh, this case, uh, the police uh, declined and refused uh, to action the case. What then happened? Uh, the residents engaged in a protest action and uh, banned uh, the suspects' homes. Then the police turned against uh, the residents and uh, assaulted the mother of the missing child and uh, subsequently uh, threw her behind bars on charges of uh, uh, banning the suspects' homes. So uh, most of the residents in that particular place were assaulted, tortured, and nothing happened to the suspect. Mm. Uh, Mr. Lamini, we know the Royal Eswatini Police and Government have released a statement on Ngomonye's case. What are they saying? Uh, Eswatini Police are claiming that Ngomonye uh, was involved in an accident, but uh, it seems that is not true. Uh, if you can uh, go through the statements, it, it has uh, so many contradictions. Uh, they are confirming that the car was uh, at Matsapa Police Station. And when you look at their previous statement, when they were declaring Taban as a missing person, they actually said they are also looking for the car that was in the opposition at the time. So after we published the story exposing that uh, actually the car that the police are inviting members of the public to, start to assist in locating Taban and the car was actually hidden at the police station. They then uh, changed tune and said that actually the car was at uh, Matapa police station station. It was taught by the police. Uh, and there is no clear explanation how the police uh, took the car and without identifying the board. Because when you go through their statement, they now confirming that they towed the car to Matapa police station. But the body was found a few meters away from what they called an accident scene. When they claim on Saturday, they didn't find the board. Mm. Uh, Mr. Lamini, I believe there's a protest that is planned by community members. Tell us more just briefly about that and about the family. Yes, uh, members of the public are highly concerned about the recent uh, police brutality. 
and they are organizing a protest there next week, Monday, the 17th of May, 2021. This protest there is organized by uh, university students. Uh, as you know, that uh, uh, Tabani was a law student at the University of Eswatini. And uh, uh, this was the Democratic fr uh, Front is also uh, participating in the protest and general members of the public. All right. Thank you very much. That was Zueli Lamini, the editor of Swaziland News.